Hello, my fluffy friends. Today, I'm here to share my thoughts on a movie called Joyride. Now, as a Pomeranian, I was hoping for a movie with dogs, or at least a thrilling chase after a mischievous squirrel. Sadly, my, my dreams were shattered. But hey, let's give this movie a chance anyway. Joyride is a tale of identity and the immigrant experience. But hold your wagging tails, because it's also sprinkled with banal comedic tropes. I mean, come on, we all know those tropes are as overused as a chewed-up tennis ball. It's like playing fetch with the same old stick over and over again. Now, I'm just a pup, so I can't fully comprehend all those big words. But I can tell you this, the movie had potential, but it got a bit lost along the way. Our main character, Audrey Sullivan, played by the talented Ashley Park, is a hard-working lawyer who seems to have forgotten her roots. She's adopted from China and has little interest in reconnecting with her birth country or her birth mother. Can you believe it? It's like she's missing out on the world's biggest fire hydrant. But don't worry. My furry friends, Audrey's friend Lola, played by Sherry Cola, won't let her off the leash that easily. <laughs> Lola convinces Audrey to embark on a journey to China hoping she'll discover her roots and maybe even find her birth mother. Her journey was like a Pomeranian on a scavenger hunt, sniffing around, following clues, and encountering other dogs along the way. But just like a curious pup, uh, uh, she gets caught up in all the exciting smells and sights of the park, getting sidetracked by Lola's wild antics and Deadeye's newfound obsession with BTS. The search for her mother becomes a secondary quest, often overshadowed by comedic hijinks and superficial distractions. Woof, woof! Now my tail starts wagging when the group finally hits the road. But unfortunately, the journey feels like a well-trodden path. It's like going for a walk on the same old route every day. We've seen it all before, from Girls Trip to the Hangover films. It's like sniffing the same old lamppost repeatedly. Repetitive, isn't it? The characters in this movie seem to be trapped into their one-dimensional personas. Audrey is the focused and goal-oriented one. Lola is all about sex and lacks a filter. And Kez, the cool and collected star on the verge of cracking. It's like they're stuck in a loop, unable to explore the vast playground of their personalities. Where's the diversity, my friends? And I'm, I'm not talking about different breeds, but rather multidimensional characters. However, there's a glimmer of hope when Audrey finally reaches her old orphanage. Suddenly, uh, the movie becomes funny again, like a ball bouncing unpredictably. The humor shines through, even though it sometimes relies on chasing outrage. But remember, my fluffy pals, too much outrage can ruin the fun. Sometimes we just need a belly rub and a good laugh. In the end, Joyride reaches its destination, but with an uneven journey, it's like going for a car ride with potholes and speed bumps along the way. I give Joyride uh, six wagon tails out of ten, just like a mid-squeaky toy. So my furry friends, if you're in the mood for a movie that touches on identity and the immigrant experience but falls short on doggy thrills, give Joyride a try. Just make sure to bring your favorite squeaky toy along for extra entertainment, happy viewing, and keep wagging those tails. Woof woof. Did you enjoy my fluffy Pomeranian movie review of Joyride? If you did, then let's pause for a moment and talk about some exciting news. Uh, I'm here to bring you more delightful movie reviews from the perspective of a fluffy Pomeranian. <laughs> if you want to keep up with my adorable adventures in the world of cinema, make sure to hit that like button below. It's like giving me a pat on the head and it lets me know that you appreciate my unique take on movies. Don't forget to share this review with your fellow movie loving pals. Uh, they might be curious to see how a fluffy Pomeranian analyzes the latest blockbusters and hidden gems. Sharing is caring and together we can spread smiles and tail wags. And of course, don't miss out on future movie reviews from yours truly. Make sure to subscribe to my channel or follow my social media accounts. That way, you'll get, will never miss a fluffy Pomeranian's perspective on the latest films to hit the big screen. Thank you for being a part of my movie-loving pack. Stay tuned for more hilarious, insightful, and pawsome movie reviews. Until next time, keep your popcorn ready and your tails wagging. Woof, woof.